I think the strength of the Napier program, first and foremost, is the fact that these students are embedded within a natural system. It really is an immersive kind of experience, and I don't think that you could get any kind of experience like that otherwise. I mean, this is just the perfect place to do it here in Costa Rica. It was designed to give opportunities to students that are not normally encouraged in science. I had the best experience my first, my first summer, and so I wanted to come back and see and help other students you know, with their experience. Many of the schools that I work with in the Pacific and uh, in, with the Native Americans, the, uh, the schools do not have the resources to give their students an experience like this. This program was developed with the Organization for Tropical Studies and through NSF to promote those particular cultures in research and tropical field ecology. And so the Napiri program allows these students who would not otherwise have this type of experience, puts them gives them a taste of them, and that allows them to become competitive with the other kids from the mainland. When I was in Napiri, it helped me with my classes. I took an ecology class, and I knew a lot of this stuff because of Napiri. Costa Rica is a very good place for this because it's a, the country as a whole is very accommodating. It's easy to, for students to get out, a very safe place for our students. And yet it's very diverse, both biologically and in terms of the culture. Having a mentor here and um, with this program, Napiri, it was it was an enjoyable experience to be able to have somebody there to actually answer your questions, help you with the methods, and to help you with designing your research. I think the mentoring program that we're using is 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 pretty unique in that it gives us one-on-one -on -one contact with students in a very very close environment. Well, I think the the very close personal attention is what sets this program apart and the opportunity for students to actually create their own research. I think everything as far as like the research goes has been what I was um, what I was expecting when I signed up for this and especially working with my mentor one-on-one -on -one has been really really helpful. It's always nice because we have our mentors and you can rely really really heavily on them and they understand that for some of us this is our first time doing research. And so the students that are interacting with these mentors um, essentially have at their disposal people who are professionally trained in, in the sciences and are devoting their time to help foster them along in their projects. So in a college you'll get something along the lines of being put into a lab, having an experiment in a lab, whereas if you have a mentor, um, the mentor really kind of takes the student under their wing to make sure that they actually are able to succeed in the project that they're trying to do. This is a great program. This is the um, third year that I participated as a mentor. Um, and uh, there's a reason I keep coming back. <laughs> um, and I've seen my students, my former students, go on to do some really interesting things. Yeah, it's really nice to be able to work on your own and then get direct support back on, on how you're doing as you're doing it. The project's been very different because we get to conduct our own research, whereas um, at school it'd be more of like, you know, a group project. When the students are here, they live, breathe, and eat the projects that they're working on, and so they're, it really is sort of an immersive kind of environment when they're out here in the field. So basically you go through all the process that you have to learn when you are in graduate school, but before. Part of it, we get to make up ourselves and we get to go out there and handle the animals or work the machines that we usually read about. It's really their responsibility to come up with their own questions, their own hypotheses, um, to come to some understanding of why those questions are important. I've learned how to better present myself, do surveys with other people, and work with um, people instead of just um, working within a lab. It gave me a really good idea of uh, <laughs> the trial and error that's associated with research. Yeah, by the time they're finished, they're gonna, they'll ha they should have a pretty solid feel for what research is like. It gives them a lot of skills that allows them to be able to know what they want to do. As 
they progress in their career. It's made me want to learn more about amphibians, and so I'm definitely going to be going more into, into this research afterwards. My mentor sees the potential for some of us to be published even from this, and that's something that I never expected as a young undergraduate scientist. Students who go through this program have a very clear idea of what it is to be a field ecologist and are really set for that next step, which is um, developing their own projects um, as graduate students. We encourage them to publish their, their, their work and to present it at scientific meetings, which is what any responsible scientist would do. It was already a really exciting opportunity, but I've been just blown away by the cultural experiences. We take them to various indigenous communities, as many as we can, so they can get an idea of what is going on in those communities. Meeting the Bri, Bri people was enlightening for me. Just to see how much pride they had in their culture was it was like an eye-opener. And they shared a song talking about their land and the history of their people and the survival of their people. And in that moment, I could think of a song also with my tribe of the, the history, the survival of the people, also in conjunction with the land. And so as they shared their song with us, I was able to share my song with them from our people. It was really wonderful. You know, I know that they're very welcoming people anyways, but particularly when they found out that our group was sort of unique in the fact that we were all indigenous as well, um, they really seemed to open up a little bit more and just kind of share that kinship with us. I can go back home and explain that, you know, I was in Central America with people I had never met, had no idea about the culture, but yet the entire time they're explaining their heritage and their history, I'm picking up on things that, well, I also remember learning something about my heritage that was very similar to that. If there's a, a student that is really interested in biology and they're willing to work hard, this program will help them in their career. It'll lay a groundwork uh, for them that they can build on and uh, become professionals if they so desire. I'm curious just more about the scientific world in general and um, the professional scientific world. This will be a, a, a benefit to you in your studies and your future research experiences that you may have. Before I wasn't considering grad school just because I wanted to take a year off and get some more experience. But some of the mentors have been like, you know, Christina, just, just go straight into grad school. Yeah, this program has um, certainly made me think a lot more about grad school because grad school is a lot more research-based. I would recommend this to students of Native American Pacific Islander descent in the, in the sciences uh, unhesitatingly. Yeah, I'm going to be telling a lot of people back at school. You have to be willing to work. You have to be willing to um, put in the time and the effort to be able to get the results that you want. Or if you want to be exposed to the forests, um, nature, um, this is a perfect experience. If you want to have first-hand experience on research, um, this is perfect. I just recommend it to everybody because it's a very good program, it's intense, and it will tell you really fast if this is what you really want to do. So I think all in all, whether the, the student becomes a professional scientist or whether or not they go into some other field, this is a good experience. And uh, I would highly recommend it to anybody that, uh, that qualifies.